Officials say it's going to be a long process to reopen the port of Baltimore to shipping after this week's bridge collapse. Heavy equipment is arriving at the port to help remove the debris, making the recovery of victims difficult. CBS News correspondent Wendy Gillette reports. A group of construction workers gathered in the memory of their co-workers, killed in the key bridge collapse. An immigrant advocacy group highlighted the sacrifices of all of them. The workers who work at nine and in the cold and throughout the pandemic, so our lives are made easier. Four workers remain missing, including father of three, Jose Lopez. His wife, Isabel Franco, spoke through an interpreter. I feel bad. Only God knows how hard my heart aches. Maybe he was desperate, trying to escape. The workers' bodies can't be recovered until debris is removed. The largest available crane on the East Coast is now in place at the port to help in the salvage operation able to lift pieces weighing up to 1,000 tons. But first, engineers are devising the best ways to extract it all. I know right now everyone wants to see things moving. You need to know, you need to trust that behind the scenes it's moving. There's no timeline on when the port could reopen to ships. I want this done quickly. I want it done right. But this is going to be a long road. President Biden will visit Baltimore next week to see the aftermath of the accident for himself. Wendy Gillette, CBS News. A total of seven floating cranes, nine barges and other vessels are also on the way to the port to help clear the debris.